hello friends welcome back to my channel today in this video lecture we will learn about the forces of constraints okay so uh, very few uh, people know that constraints uh, exerts the force on the system okay so today our lecture is uh, about this uh, about the forces on the constraints so let's under try to understand this okay now constraints uh, are always uh, related uh, with uh, forces which restrict the motion of the system okay so um, uh, as uh, i have written here you can see that constraints uh, all are always related with the forces that means whenever there is constraints there will always be forces due to constraints and these are the forces which restrict the motion of the system in particular way okay so let's uh, go to the example one so uh, we will not uh, follow this figure in fact we will follow this figure okay now uh, you can see that uh, this is the this is the wire this is the wire and this is the bead okay now this bead can have the motion along this direction and along the this direction because the wire is straight and the bead cannot go up and down the bead uh, if will try to go down due to its uh, weight okay then the wire will exert a reaction force okay so this r is nothing but the force of constraint and this and this will completely cancel out each other okay and hence the bead will only move in the uh, in the uh, in the forward direction or in the backward direction okay so here this here it explains how the forces of constraints work and restrict the motion of the bead in some particular way okay now we will take another example okay the another example is the uh, is the simple pendulum okay so this is the rigid support s okay and this is the pen bob okay so this bob can oscillate okay but uh, you can see that the bob can only oscillate along this path it cannot go up and down the reason is that if due to mass uh, if due to weight that is force mg sin theta if it tries to go down then the tension in the wire will prevent it so the tension in the wire will work like the force of the constraint which will hold the bob and it will only allow the bob to move to and forth in this way okay now uh, usually you have to note a important point that usually the forces of constraints act in the direction perpendicular to the motion of the object okay so i hope uh, this video is will be uh, useful to you okay so thank you very much friends for watching this video up to this point okay thank you